imagine texting a man for five days. You invite him to your house, you make him dinner, y'all watch a movie, and right when y'all about to get intimate, he slit your throat. Let's get to it. This is True Crime Stories with Dante. Taylor Smith said that while she feels lucky to be alive to tell her story, she's still concerned that the man who once tried to kill her could try to hurt her again. She not from Houston, but moved here about three years ago and immersed herself in work. She didn't have time to make friends and without family around, she got bored real quick. She said she made a profile on a dating app and matched with 24-year-old Cordell Roshan Stewart. Authorities said he's a Galveston County resident who was working as a cook at a Sonic Drive-In. He also has two children. Things moved pretty quickly and they set up a date after about five days of texting each other. Smith invited him over after work one day. She cooked and they watched a movie all while they were getting to know each other better. Around 10 p.m. that night, she said they lay down to watch another movie and she started to doze off when she heard him say something about the bathroom. She said he got up and went to the bathroom, but she didn't hear the toilet flush or running water from the sink, which was odd. When he came back to the bed, Smith said, he started getting intimate, and then it took a dangerous turn. She said he stopped kissing her, covered her mouth, and slit her throat. That's when she said adrenaline kicked in. She said she started screaming for help, which caught Stuart off guard. She said she started fighting back, and when he tried to stab her with the knife again, she grabbed it and lodged it into her hand. She said he kept beating her as she tried to get away. She said she got to the front door and tried to get outside, but he grabbed her and slammed her onto the ground. She said she was nearly unconscious, but was able to get her wits about her. Smith said Stewart locked the door and came back to attack her again. She was able to fight him off and finally get outside. She said she was naked while she knocked on her neighbor's doors trying to get some help. One of her neighbors came out and told her that he called the police and when he heard the screaming, he dialed 911. While they was outside, the neighbor saw Stewart run across the street. That was right before the police showed up. Stewart was caught and arrested a short time later but since he had injuries too, he told authorities that Smith stabbed him first. The story didn't hold up and he was charged with aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. His bond was set at 125 racks. He's due back in court early next year. Smith said she worries about her safety because Stewart threatened witnesses in previous cases against him. A Houston woman says a man she met on a dating app slit her throat on their very first date. He's now in the Harris County Jail. Stephanie Whitfield is on this horrific story for us this morning, and we do want to warn you the details are graphic. Stephanie. Yeah, the information in this story is definitely hard to hear, but we do have details because the victim shared a statement with KHOU 11 telling us exactly what happened to her. Taylor Smith says she met 24 year old Corbell Stewart on a dating app and she invited him to her house after texting for a few days. She told us in a statement when I answered the door, a red flag that I didn't think about until after this situation is that he had a bag. I see it was a getaway bag. Smith says they had dinner, watched movies, then began to get intimate. That's when she tells us that he pinned her down and slit her throat. She reportedly fought back, getting multiple stab wounds on her hands in the process. Thankfully, she was able to get away and run to a neighbor for help. Now, Cordell Stewart is in jail, charged with aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. He's being held on a $125,000 bond. 
Now, Houston police do have tips to stay safe if you're meeting someone in person for the first time. They recommend meeting in a public place and telling a friend or family member where you're going. You need to have a plan to leave if you feel uncomfortable and if possible, always try to have your own transportation. There's a lesson to be learned here. Ladies, I know sometimes that bed get cold and that bed get lonely. But when you get out here in the dating scene, in the dating world, and try to mingle because you're single, make sure you screen these guys more carefully. Make sure that you spend more time outside with this guy on dates before you bring him to your house. Or you might end up like this young lady right here. Now, a couple of things that you can do to protect yourself is always bring a friend with you no matter what i don't care if it's a gay guy i don't care if it's a female friend i don't care if it's a family member always bring somebody with you so that way there will always be somebody there to help you in a time of need another thing do not bring this man to your house at all and especially after five days I say give it about two or three months. Another thing, hey, carry some mace, carry some type of weapon that can get a man up off you if he try to try something with you. 75,000, I'm not granting a personal bond. I do have high public safety concerns, especially for the complainant. Galveston County resident Cordell Stewart is behind bars tonight. The judge ordering the 24-year-old Sonic drive-in cook and father of two to be held on a $125,000 bond. What prosecutors say he did to the woman he met on a dating app is horrifying. The defendant cut the complainant's neck with a serrated knife, causing her to have a four-inch severe laceration. In a written statement to KHOU 11 News, Taylor Smith described what she says happened last month. After speaking with Stewart for several days, Smith says she agreed to let him come over for dinner, saying, quote, when I answered the door, a red flag that I didn't think about until after the situation is that he had a bag. Smith writes, I see it was a getaway bag. Smith says Stewart acted like a gentleman. At first, she began to cook dinner. And Smith says Stewart joined her in the kitchen. She says they talked, laughed and kissed. But while engaging in foreplay, she says things took a violent turn pinning her arms down with his knees while on top of her. Quote, he stopped and covered my mouth and slit my throat, not at different times, but all in a span of three seconds. Smith says she tried to defend herself, grabbing the blade. The knife would end up lodged in her palm. She says she tried to escape as Stuart punched her and body slammed her. Eventually, Smith says she reached the door to scream for help and was heard by neighbors who called 911. She says Stuart ran away, but was caught by police a short time later. He's now charged with aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. This is True Crime Stories with Dante.